story of David and Bathsheba, mm-hmm. the first child they had died within seven days of being born. Right. Now, David said something along these lines. I shall go to him. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? One day. One day. Mm-hmm. But will he be a baby or an adult? Mm-hmm. Though he died a baby. Mm-hmm. I know. And this is what I mean to some of you Christians. You're short sighted about how you control people. Mm-hmm. Now, no one understands why some women don't want to carry a baby full term, right? But the mother is not to be forced, right? If she feels something is wrong, right? To carry a child full term, and she too, even with a conceived child, it's not that it wasn't conceived. Right. It's that she don't want to carry it full term. Right. Now, has the child sinned? No. No. It will go straight to heaven. That's what David meant. Right. That's why he died before seven, eight days. Right. See, on the eighth day, the child was supposed to be circumcised. Right. So you can't say that God wouldn't necessarily understand that a woman doesn't want to have a man's baby Mm -hmm. and let her abort it. Right. If God did that with Bathsheba and David's child. Right. You're hypocrites. You're teaching for doctrine the commandment of men. Right. Jesus warned against such things. Right. The child did no evil. It's guaranteed a place in heaven. Right. The parents, on the other hand, they got to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. Right. And even the devil trembles when he sins against the Lord. Right. But he's still the ultimate sinner until he repents himself. Right. Now, if the leader of the rebellion suddenly repents, though, Will that not also help those following him to repent? Yeah. Do you see what I mean there, too? Right. What do you think God is really trying to do here? Right. Get Satan to repent so that if he repents, everyone following him can repent. Right. But what if he don't repent? He's also trying to help you independently of Satan to repent. Right. For your own sins. Right. Do you understand? You don't need Satan to repent to repent yourself. (laughs) Or not try to control people like a fool who knows you can't really control people. Mm -hmm. Are we going to go back to back words abortions again? Right. With no medical help for the girl? Mm -hmm. All because you morally think God wants the girl to have the baby? (laughs) Or not? Or not. And in your opinion? Right. Mm -hmm. She conceived the child, so she must have the child? No. No. Sometimes you're with the wrong person before you know who the right person even is. So you should be allowed to abort the child. But with today's laws, you can't do that anymore Mm -hmm. because of the Republican Party. Now, this is just my opinion, but like David said, the mother will go to the child. Mm-hmm. The child hadn't sinned. Right. 
only the mother did in being with the man she wasn't supposed to be with. Correct. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. So you're going to force her to have the child of the man she knows was wrong for her. Mm Mm-hmm. That's wrong, too. Right. Two wrongs don't make it right. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Now, I'm not saying this to every woman. Some women will be happy if they get pregnant by Tom, Dick, or Harry and not care if they have the baby or not. Right. Some women, on the other hand, aren't good mothers. They're not cut out for it. They know it. (laughs) They're not ready for it yet. (laughs) Or the daddy. Right. But we're still not to judge people. (laughs) You're doing that too, Republicans. Right. Now, which is easier? Right. To abort a child you know you can't really support. And it grow up. Not even knowing its parents, if you give it up for adoption or put it in foster care or something like that, right? If you don't want the child, right? Which is worse, making the woman carry the child full term and then giving it up for adoption or putting it in the foster care system, right? Either way, you're having to take care of a child nobody really wants that's gonna feel abandoned its whole life and wanna. Find out why mama did that to him. <laughs> or daddy did that to him. <laughs> or her. Mm-hmm. That can be good and bad too. Right. Though you understand, some women do do that and have done that. And the child turned into a wonderful human being. And that's fine too. Right. But it's also fine if the mother decides. To abort it. Mm -hmm. Because then it's dealt with. Right Right then and there. And there's no more crying for the child. No more suffering. No more pain. No more feelings of abandonment. (laughs) It continues in heaven. Mm -hmm. By spirit. And the spirit it was conceived in, even if it was hatred, even if the woman was raped, or incest, or something evil happened to her. Mm -hmm. It's better to think about the woman over the child sometimes. Now, if you got a woman who's, and it's a choice between the child or the woman, well, you're going to have to make the choice yourself, right? Mm-hmm. That's a hard situation to be in, right? Mm-hmm. I know. What about those situations? Right. Those are difficult things you might have to deal with with pregnancy here. Mm-hmm. The mother or the child sometimes, right? Or there's something wrong with the child and the mother can't carry the child and needs to abort the child for their medical purposes, right? You're being so tyrannical, Henry VIII will be pleased to let you sit beside him. I know, right? I know. Republicans, Republicans. Or King James himself, right? No, he was a little bit not as bad as Henry VIII, but come on. I know. The only reason the man did what he did was so he could marry whom he wanted to marry. Right. And you know that's wrong.